Hello everyone, I'm Eric from Edacute and today I'm going to talk about share screen for Zoom. As teachers, we need to share content with our students. We need to share pictures, video, PPTs, or if we're using a website, we want to share those with our students. Now share screen with Zoom is a fantastic function that every teacher should use. And to help us look at share screen today, we have Christina. Hello, everyone. Hi, Christina. Yeah, Christina has her YouTube channel called Plan for Fun ESL. She's an expert at online teaching and she shares tips and ideas for how to use it. So she's going to help us today. OK, so I, like I said before, uh, so you go into Zoom. This is our Zoom board. You can see all the options here. You go to share screen. At basic, you can share a whiteboard. You can share perhaps um, a YouTube video. You can share a PPT. There you can see a frozen bomb game. Now, let me give you an example. I'll go in and I'll share a website because a lot of the resources we use, we might use uh, online books and programs. So uh, we might have to share our Chrome screen or Internet Explorer. For example, watch this video. Top of the morning to you. Okay, then um, I can go and I can stop the share. Or I can go to new share and I'll say whiteboard. So we can, you can hear the audio, you can watch the video and you can do many activities like that. So you can share the whiteboard and you can use it for anything for teaching your students. For example, I'm just going to say what color hat am I wearing? So you can type this to the students and say, okay, students, what color hat was I wearing in the video? Green. But I want you to write it underneath this question in the same color as what it is. So I want you to write the answer underneath that question. Quickly figure it out. This is your job. You want to play games with the students like this to get them used to the platform. By giving them instructions like this, they can figure it out on their own. Quickly type up. Wow, well done. Proceed. Yeah, so we can use different ways. I could have also told them, hey, listen, the bomb game is Frozen. Who is your favorite character from Frozen? Send it to me in a chat. This is the first time the students are using chat let them use it okay quickly send me in the bomb game by sending me a message who is your favorite character ah, here we go chat olaf olaf is your favorite well done christina okay guys so you can see that share screen is very useful uh, let's quickly go over it again i just want to show you um so you can go whiteboard you can share a website, you can share pictures, PPTs. You can even go to advanced where you can share a part of the screen, the computer sound, uh, content, or you can share files. If you use Google Drive or Dropbox, you can share it from there. This is a fantastic resource that every teacher should use when they're using Zoom. Now, talking about PPTs, I think one of the things that teachers can use more of, um, they can use more PPTs. How do you feel about using PPTs in the classroom, Christina? Well, in the classroom, it's obviously a wonderful tool, but also online is a great solution for displaying material from course books or uh, pictures and uh, different things that I just want to share with uh, the students. So for me, it works great. It just requires a little bit more preparation, I think. Yeah, but I think a little bit of preparation can actually make teaching online so much easier because you know what you want mm -hmm. to share. So uh, actually, um, uh, Christina has a video up where she talks about how she uses PowerPoints for teaching English online. Uh, okay, everyone, uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about. Use share screen in your online teaching and it will help your students and it will make your job easier too. Everyone have a good day and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.